here we are in Fort Worth, Texas at Lockheed Martin, where we're hosting our second annual Code Quest event. Today we're having a uh, programming competition for uh, 50 high schools, uh, from, all from Texas. Uh, they will be programming uh, Java uh, challenges and uh, having fun at the same time. Where are you guys from? Oh, we're from uh, Seven Lakes High School. Lubbock High School. Oak Ridge. What are you guys here to do? Try to win. Win. Win, yeah. So welcome to the 2013 Code Quest competition. We hope your experience here today will encourage you to seriously think about a career in technology. We were also participants in 2012, but we also had prior experience in coding. We do other UIL competitions, uh, other contests around the state as well. And a lot of problems are very similar, and we just expect to see a lot of you know, interesting programming problems and see what the, uh, the writers have to offer. They practice once a week on Thursdays afternoon, uh, practicing, getting to understand uh, the coding, mistakes, work as a team, and you tell them that you need to program and you need to prepare and you need to understand coding. And when they come to these companies and see actual uh, persons in the field uh, that's encouraging them and saying this is what you need to do to program, this is for real world saying that you can do it and you can go out into the field and you can become this type of person. And now I'm excited to announce the winners of the 2013 Code Quest competition. First place goes to the Honey Badgers from Pasco High School. The fact that the, that the corporations, uh, such as Lockheed, are doing this for the kids is, is really spectacular. This is what, what is going to have to be done if we're going to uh, keep up with these other countries as far as science and, and math education. Things like this are just phenomenal.